Um, what can I tell you, Mr. Van Sado? My goodness, you did such an extraordinary job in this movie. I wanted to know when you first got the material, what was your initial reaction to it? Well, I was extremely, profoundly moved. And, and uh, then when I heard that uh, Stephen Dollar was going to direct it, uh, whom I had uh, admired, I was very pleased and said yes immediately. But, uh, and, uh, uh, it, it, and also uh, the fact that the renter is a silent character also made it more more interesting to me. But I mean, it, it is a story about 9-11 and it's a story about somebody who chooses a therapy to come over the trauma, the shock, and, and does it without knowing that it is, that it is a therapy. And, but it works. It works, and and it, it's a wonderful story also about a relationship between a father and a son. Absolutely, yes. Um, I want to ask you in terms of let's talk about doing a silent character. Um, I don't even know how how you ended up getting through it because everything was obviously in the expression in your eyes and your face, your everything. It's to me, it spoke louder than words. How do you take take on a, a character like that, and where do you well, go? Well, I, I didn't do anything. I probably didn't do anything different <laughs> from if from a part, the same part speaking. I, I just didn't speak. I mean, it's it's uh, it, it's the same ideas or the same purpose um, every time. And what I want to do is show what the character in that moment wants to do, not what he feels. That comes uh, afterwards, or th that comes automatically when he, when I know what I, as the character, want to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, also how you react to what is around you and to, to the people. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, well, so it, it, it's not very different from, I wouldn't say it's different at all. Is it a <laughs> it's just the fact that I don't have my voice. Is it a relief for you not to have to learn any lines? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my memory is going, oh. getting very bad. <laughs> so, a lot of work spared, yes. <laughs> Please. Uh, you've got to tell me about your first impressions of young Thomas Horn. This kid is extraordinary. He, <clears throat> he's extraordinary. <clears throat> yes. Tell me about true. working with him. And no, no, he, it was a pleasure because he uh, he was very well prepared, and and uh, of course he's a very intelligent young man, and uh, it was never uh, never any reason to come to say, uh, come here, young man, I'll tell you what to do. No, no, no. He knew what to do, and and he he knew what the character of of Oscar was thinking and feeling. And, and he did it, he showed it. And he had, for example, he had a, a long, long, long monologue. Uh, when I saw it, I thought, uh, I, I talked to Stephen and said, oh, how are you going to do this? Because you can't do this. That one, yes, he will do that. And he did, mm -hmm. he did it. And he did it again and again, long, like it was eight minutes or something like that. And not slowly, very intensely delivered. And he is remarkable. Was there anything that you did special with him to create a bond? No, no, I don't think so. I, I no, I just uh, we, we we just communicated, yeah. and uh, I think the bond came automatically. It, yeah, it so did, sir. It was so so wonderful to watch the two of you together. I, you know, this movie. I, I was telling everybody, you just need a box of Kleenex. You have, you just feel so cathartic after seeing. But it's yeah. so emotional. Yeah. Was there ever a movie that you just sat in a theater, you remember, and just cried and cried? Something that really impacted you? That I was in, or, or that no, either was, either way, either way. Well, I'm sure there was. I don't remember now. But uh, but uh, it it. Very rarely happens that I'm moved by a script, and this time I was. Uh, I was in a film a few years ago, and uh, I had uh, one day of shooting. I had two little scenes in it, but it was written with a very well written, also very moving, a very moving story uh, about a man who had lost his ability to communicate, really. He was totally totally 
uh, paralyzed. And the only thing he could do was to blink, and he spoke by through blinking, and there were people who had patience enough to communicate him through that. And I was this poor man's father, and, and that script moved me also profoundly. I remember seeing that movie at the Toronto Film Festival, Diving Bell and the Butterfly, yes, correct? That's Under, that's yeah, that's another that's amazing that's performance. Amazing. Well, I just want to congratulate you on this. You've, uh, I think we're going to see you at the Oscars in March, so uh, congratulations to you, and uh, you. such a pleasure to have a chance to talk to you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you very much.